Hey everyone, welcome to Grave Watch. Today, our video will be testing the Predator Armor Level 3 Plus Plate. So, there's the end results. We'll take a more of a look at this at the end of the video. But this is the Predator Armor Level 3 Plus Plate. So, we have shot this plate with 22 multiple uh, types of ammunition, 9 mil, 5.56, 6 5 Grendel, and 50 Beowulf. And we'll see what exactly those do to this armor plate. We'll see you at the range. Got the Predator Armor Level 3 plate. Alright, first things first, going to be shooting the level 3 plus plate using, these are Aguila, 40 grain, 22 LR, let's see how accurate we are first. Looks like we're pretty accurate, so we're going to put one into the plate. Let's go down and see the damage. Probably nothing. Looks like it went through the wood there, but nothing. Continuing with the level 3 plus armor, we have Federal 45 grain, meant to be suppressed, but whatever. Out of the uh, 10 and a half inch barrel, Let's see if it's accurate. Yep. Plate is hit. Let's see the damage. did is remove some paint. Sweet. Sixteen inch AR. We're gonna be shooting the twenty two forty grain Aguila out of the sixteen inch barrel at the Predator Armor. Uh, level 3 plus plate. See if we're accurate. A little high. Plate is hit. Let's go check it out. There's the hit. You can see a bit more uh, paint taken off. That was the original 40 grain and the 45 grain out of the 10 and a half. A little bit more paint removed. Right, now we're shooting the 45 grain Federal out of the 16 inch AR. At the armor plate, we'll see how accurate we are. Alright, let's check out the damage. are right next to the other 45 grain. Looks like we lost more velocity there. That didn't take off. 
nearly as much paint. Alright, we're shooting the level 3 plus Predator armor plate with the 9mm 115 grain. This would be Federal, I believe. So 115 grain Federal out of the Glock 45. See how accurate we are. All right. Let's go see the damage. There's the nine mil. Took off some paint. That's about it. All right. Now we got the. We got the. Federal 138 grain segmented hollow point. Shoot in the water, see how accurate we are. Yep, good enough. Now we hit the plate. Where did that hit? Oh, that went through the wood too. Let's see, uh, Segmented hollow point through the wood. I think we're going to have to hit it again. That looks better. So we hit right there. Some good hits. All right, first thing we're shooting. This is the 55 grain steel core. Steel cased, steel core. That's the Predator armor plate. Let's go take a look. Hit there. There is nothing. 62 grain ammo ink. go. Good hit. And next up is the Hornady Frontier. This is 62 grain full metal jacket. See the damage. Good hit. Now we got some M855 green tip. We're going to see what this does.
that one left a little bit of a mark. Just a little bit of an indentation. Nothing on the back. All right, so we flip the plate around. We're gonna be shooting at the back of the plate. I'm gonna start with this. This is Wolf 100 grain steel case. We'll be shooting it out of the 6.5 with the 18 inch barrel. Check it out. Nothing. Slight indentation where the paint's blown off, but nothing. All right, now we're shooting the Alexander Arms 123 grain open tip. Did lock back. Did I stack that one? I almost did. So that's the uh, wolf. That's the Alexander Arms. No penetration. All right, last. 6.5 Grendel round we'll be shooting is the 123 grain Hornady Black. Alright, see what happens. down there and nothing right. today is the last test of the Predator Armor Level 3 Plus plate. This is the 50 Beowulf. This is a 350 grain projectile out of the uh, Lancer mags because these are apparently the only things I have that feed this well. So, Bear Creek side charger. Now let's see what this does with the plate. We're shooting the front end again today because, I mean, we're going to be able to tell this one, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Right there. All right, everyone, we are back from the range and we will be taking a look at the damage that we did to this Predator armor plate. As you can see, nothing went through. We did shoot both sides, mostly so we could see impacts, but 22 did pretty much nothing. Just remove some of this uh, 
paint. Uh, nine mil did nothing. Five five six did nothing. Even the M eight fifty five did pretty much nothing. Just a little bit of a nick. The fifty bill was interesting. That. Let's just say that uh, I cut out most of my shots on that because that was not zeroed. And let's just say that was about 50 bucks worth of ammo that did not hit the target. Anyways, 6.5 Grendel, we hit on the back, no penetrations, a little bit of dings, but it is good to go. This stopped everything we threw at it. Now, I do not recommend buying steel armor that does not have a anti-frag lining. Predator armor does sell these plates with spall coatings and uh, Kevlar anti-frag lining. This plate was tested without that because frankly we tested one with it. It did great. It caught everything I expected and we wonder show what happened to this plate. Would I recommend these? Definitely. Are they heavy? Yeah. Do they do the job? Yep. Yep, they do. So, Predator Armor Plates. Good to go. As long as you get the anti-spall, anti-frag lining. Because you do not want to be a frag grenade for your buddies. Okay? Do not use steel plates without something to catch that frag. But as armor, I do recommend the Predator Armor Level 3 Plus plate, as well as the Level 3 plates. Though, personally, I'd rather have the 3 Plus just for the added protection. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell us what you want to see us do in the future. We got the workbench back there. We're going to be testing some more uh, different equipment, plate carriers, different camo gear. We have the tag and grenade launcher that we're going to look at. And we'll basically have a lot planned. And we'll be streaming on kick. For our video game side stuff. So I hope to see you there. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.